Uh, good afternoon, everybody, or good morning, or wherever you're at in the world. Um, this is Mr. Senavani. I, uh, I'm cooking up some train parts. You can see I've already got the wheel here, and I took the time and made it and made a video of making it. But you know what? That video uh, didn't correctly upload to YouTube. So I'm going to make it again and talk all about it again. And uh, in a lot of ways, it's one of the cooler parts to make on this uh, training assignment. So uh, we're going to start by turning everything invisible so it's not getting in our way. And we're going to choose one of these planes. I'll choose this one this time. And just off to the side somewhere, I'm going to start by making a circle. Drag open a circle, and we're going to dimension this circle, the overall diameter, which is a little tricky to figure out if you're looking at the sheet. Um, on the top, the top uh, diagram's got a radius from the center that's one inch, and then you have to add on uh, another uh, eighth of an inch on both sides. So what you wind up getting is one plus one plus 0.125 plus 0.125. That's one way to mathematically represent this distance, but it adds up to 2.25. Once you get a 2.25 circle, you're going to finish the sketch and extrude it. The distance you're going to extrude, extrude is the overall thickness, and that's 0.25. So you get a disc, and it uh, looks something like this. Now we're going to start uh, putting a sketch right on one face of the disc, and we're going to draw three circles. So right when you get in the middle, it should lock in. And you want to do that three times. Just pull out three circles and we'll start dimensioning those. Uh, the inside circle is going to be the hole. And you can find that dimension on the bottom diagram. So the dimension for that is 0 0.280. And then the next one that we need to put in is on the top diagram. And it's a radius of 0.25. So we've got to double it, make that a 0.5. And then this outside circle is uh, a radius of 0.75, so that's a 1.5. Because we're always uh, dimensioning diameters and not the radii when we do circles. All right, now we're going to extrude, cut this all the way through. And it looks like that. Our sketch disappeared, but if we go underneath our sketches, we should be able to find it way down here at the very bottom, the last one done, and turn it back on. I'm going to make that sketch invisible too. I don't know why that was visible. Uh, the next move is to extrude cut this part. So we're going to select it, and this is going to go halfway uh, through the body. So the body was 0.25. We could write in 0.25 divided by 2. And we don't want to join. We want to cut and we want to cut it that way. So it's going to be negative, negative 0.125. Hey, why you no cut? Oh, it did cut. Great. We're going to spin it around to the back and put a sketch on the back here. Okay. I'm going to turn off that last sketch because it's annoying. This is a little going to be a little weird. So um, we're going to use what's called a construction line. So let's drag a line up and then stop making lines. So now we have the lines. Uh, we're going to select this line and we're going to say normal construction. What that does is it changes it to a construction line. And we're just going to use this construction line as reference geometry. It doesn't act like a normal line. It acts as a reference geometry line. The next step is to draw two rays that, oh, to draw two rays that come off the center point. And we're going to dimension these at angles to that construction line. But I don't want the construction line to move. And I think because it's got this, that little symbol there represents a vertical constraint, I think it's going to stay in place. So let's try it. We'll turn on dimension. We'll click one of the angles. We'll click our construction line and come back in the middle. And we can add some degrees. The degrees we want to add are 15. And we want to do that on both sides. So add 15 degrees to each side. And you get this nice little uh, angle. Eh, it looks good. So the next step is to pull out two circles. One and two. We're trying to create this little window space in here to cut out the uh, spokes looking things for our design. So let's do the outside. Uh, it's got a radius of 0.625. You can find that in the 
the bottom uh, diagram. So we'll say 0 0.625 times 2 to give us the diameter. And the other one is 0.375 times 2. All right. And now we can finish the sketch. We're just going to extrude cut this little window out. So let's select just that window. Give it a look from the side. We want to cut and we'll just drag it through and say okay. So we got one little window. Our next job is to pattern a total of six of these around. So under create we'll come down to pattern. We'll choose circular pattern. It's on features so that's what we want. This is the feature to pattern. The axis is this and it comes in with three. We're going to make that six. So now we got those three uh, windows or creating the spokes effect. And we're feeling pretty good. Let's go ahead and build the little pedestal out here at 3 o'clock uh, so that we can have the linkage uh, arm mount. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a sketch down in here. So now we're sketching like right on that surface. We'll make another construction line that goes from the middle out to 3 o'clock. And let's turn it into a construction line. Okay, so you know it's construction when it's dashed. And uh, on that construction line, we're going to make a real circle. We're going to dimension that circle uh, a diameter of a quarter of an inch. So 0.25. We're going to locate that circle from the center point exactly 0.7 inches. So that's going to move it into the spot we need it to be. And then we're going to finish the sketch. Let's look at it from an angle so you can see what's going on here. We're going to extrude the circle, both parts of it, and that distance that we're extruding it out is 3 eighths of an inch, 0.375. Boink. Up. So it messed up. It was on cut. So I got to access that extrusion. And let's change it to join. You guys should be getting good at that. Um, you find it down here on the playlist and click on it and you can edit it. And it looks like it's coming out pretty far, but that's that's what it told us to make it. So let's leave it like that for now. We'll put a sketch right on the end of it. And we'll draw a circle right there. That circle's diameter is going to be 0.125. So dimension that circle. Wow. Why is it being so weird? Uh, dimension that circle. There we go. 0.125. Finish that sketch. We're going to extrude that out. 0.125. So just that little one. Great. And then we're going to put a sketch way on that little surface. And we can either, oh, let's make a point right here because we're going to drill a teeny little hole. Finish the sketch choose hole. There's our hole. We want it to be a quarter inch deep, which it came in at, and 0 0.0625, which that's essentially what that is. Hit enter. Now we've got a teeny little hole. That is the right depth. So the final move on this is to throw some fillets on different edges. We're going to do both inside edges and out outside edges. So turn on fillet. <clears throat> We want to pick this one, this one, this one, and this one. So those four, they're all going to be um, rounded 0 0.0625. And you can find that in the uh, upper diagram on the page. So 0 0.0625, that gives us this look. And then we're going to do one more fillet that is going to be a 0.125, and that's out here. So an eighth of an inch out here to give you that nice rounded wheel look. Okay, so once you got that all done, you've made the wheel. I still think that this extrusion might be too tall, so if when we're assembling it later we have to go back and edit it, that's what I think we might need to edit right there. Just make this a quarter of an inch of an extrusion rather than a three-eighths of an inch extrusion. And we'll just have to see when the time comes. Thank you.